All right, so it says calculate the pH. They gave you a concentration. They gave you a weak acid. They gave you Ka, all right? So let's figure this out. They gave us that HNO2. It's a weak acid, so it gets the double-headed arrows. We get H plus, we get NO2 minus, all right? Need to set up an ice chart because it's weak. So I set that up. And the initial concentration is 5.00 molar. Um, these are zero. And this one is a minus because it's our reactant, so we're losing it, using it, so we get minus x, and then these are going to be plus x and plus x. Now, don't get super comfortable with these just being just one. Remember, they could be two and three. It just depends on what's here. And all right, so these are all just pretty much straightforward ones for right now, which is fine. All right, so now we have 5.00 molar minus x. We get an x here. We get an X here. All right. Any questions with that? All right. Let's do the Ka equation. Ka equals the products over the reactants. The products are H plus NO2 minus. And then on the bottom, we have the reactant, which was HNO2. OK, let's plug in everything, right? So we know Ka, it's given. We know H plus, it's an X. We know NO2, it's an X. We know HNO2 is 5.00 minus X. Okay, now we can solve for X, right? All right, take a second, continue on from here. Let's see, we'll give you guys uh, two minutes and then we'll continue on. All right, so now that we have this here, we're gonna simplify this and solve for it. So let's get rid of this X. Remember, we dropped that X. So it'll be 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth equals X times X, so that's X squared. And then on the bottom, we have that 5.00 molar. Now, the next thing that I would do is cross multiply here. So I would multiply these here because remember this is the same as having that over one and then cross multiplying that x squared with one and that's just going to be the same okay so this would be 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth times 5.00 molar equals x squared let's multiply these together and then we'll square root it and see what we get. 4.0 times 10 to the negative fourth equals times five. When I did that, I got 2.0 times 10 to the negative third molar equals x squared. And then I'm gonna square root that. So square root the answer. That'll give me 4.47, okay, there's only two sig figs, so 4.5 times 10 to the negative second equals x. Remember, x equals H plus, right? So x equals H plus concentration, which means this number, this 4.5, also equals H plus. And so you know that you can use that to figure out pH, all right? Which means you just plug it into the pH equation. All right, so we plug that in, pH equals negative log, 4.5 times 10 to the negative second. So plug that in, negative log, 4.5 times 10 to the negative second. And that gives us a pH of 1.346, but with sig figs, looks like we have two. We'll go with 1.35. So 
is the pH for that. 